3,100 megabits per second, 4x4 Momimo, 8 gigabit Ethernet ports, massive coverage, all elements of the ASUS RT AC88U router. While the name of the device itself may not be flashy, the design and feature set certainly are. It has this fantastic alien warship angling to it, complemented by the quadruple antennas used to phone home. Packed into the front bumper of the alien ship is a USB 3.0 port to aid in providing some network attached storage, an LED toggle button, as well as a Wi-Fi toggle button in case you want to limit the router to strictly terrestrial communication. That terrestrial communication comes in the form of the previously mentioned 8 gigabit ethernet ports on the rear of the craft, which can be unified through link aggregation to provide up to 2 gigabit per second network transfer speeds. Also included are the standard reset switch, WPS button for easy Wi-Fi connection, USB 2.0 port, WAN port, power in and power button. Another cool feature of the device is that it can accept two WAN inputs or two internet connections for either a failover situation to have an LTE backup in case your ADSL or fiber line goes down, or it also provides a load balancing aspect to help make sure neither one of your internet connections gets too overwhelmed if you're doing a whole bunch of stuff on the internet at once. Getting to the wireless aspect of the device, those antennas are designed to provide the 3.1 concurrent gigabit network speed that this device boasts. While you're not going to get that type of network transfer speeds on a single device connection, the multi-user MIMO allows for up to four lanes of wireless traffic to run concurrently, whether that be four phones, a couple of laptops, or even utilizing the PCE AC88 PCI Express Wi-Fi adapter that ASUS sent over as well. Instead of rotating through connections like a single user MIMO router would, Moo MIMO allows the router to have multiple devices send and receive data at once, hence multi-user MIMO. Practically, this means things such as PC gaming, streaming 4K Netflix, and transferring files from your network attached storage can be run through the network simultaneously without interfering with one another when all of their data requests hit the router at the same time. To adjust that and the rest of the features, thankfully ASUS has designed a relatively simple to use interface to do everything from seeing who's on your network connections to make sure there's no freeloaders, or monitoring and adjusting the amount of data bandwidth those freeloaders have to make sure that they're not hogging the entire internet by watching 4K YouTube videos all the time. You can also set up a network-wide VPN for protecting your privacy while on the internet, as well as the typical stuff such as configuring your Wi-Fi names to things such as FBI surveillance van, free Wi-Fi, you can also set passwords on the free Wi-Fi which is going to confuse everything everybody or adjusting the firewall. It's also possible to adjust and monitor most of this by downloading the companion ASUS router app from the Google Play or App Store. As far as how effective the router is in terms of Wi-Fi signal, I, I could show you the typical shot of me checking the signal and speed of the Wi-Fi throughout my primarily concrete house. Or alternatively, I decided to take a different approach to checking out the power of the RT AC88U combined with the PC AC88 adapter. So enjoy. So with such high-end wireless networking solutions from Asus, I decided what is the use in a normal test where you just test how well you get service around your house? Rather, I think the test of such ultimate hardware is how well are you able to play games away from your house, such as by the pool when your friends are swimming during a hot summer's day, which it's getting close to summer here in South Africa, maybe not for your North American folks, but it's not the point of this video. Instead, I brought my entire desktop here down by poolside with an uninterruptible power supply to power both the monitor and the desktop to see if I can use the PCI Express Wi-Fi card to actually play a game of CSGO down by the pool. So the first step is turning the UPS on, but let's say if we can connect to the Wi-Fi and launch a game of CSGO, although I probably think CSGO might need to be updated. Okay, Wi-Fi. It doesn't see any of them. I think the next step is to move the computer closer to the house. So the first test over directly by the pool did not work right over there. So instead, the plan is to have it over here with the antenna hanging up on the wall. Now let's see if we can get signal for some CSGO action. There we go, five gigahertz network, connect. 
Time to load up Steam. Steam is connecting. Connected to the Wi-Fi. Yes, all right, library. Counter-Strike, oh man, there's an update. 278 megs. I don't think the battery's gonna last long enough for that. So the Wi-Fi is actually picking up pretty decent speeds. I usually get around 1.5 megabytes per second at my house, so that's not too bad. Let's see if we can actually download this before the UPS dies on me. All right, we're in. I'm currently getting 115 ping. Ah, ah, okay, I'm off. I am so bad at this game. I'm so dead. I'm out in the open. I'm exposed. Uh, 32 ping. Oh, I killed somebody. I did it. I'm a pro MLG. 360 no-scope. Asus approved. I think I deserve a chance to be on White Rabbit Gaming, for sure. I mean, who who else on a professional team is playing video games down by the poolside? Nobody has that much commitment. Dang it. <laughs> That's just so that you walk into a wall and die. <laughs> Hello. 35 ping. Oh man, I'm so dead. Ah, ah, dang it. Do you again? <laughs> 29 ping. Not too bad. 360 no scope. It's hard to aim on this brick. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. So with the antenna right there, and my PC right there, we can see that I actually have a very respectable ping of 37. All the way, what, 50 meters from my house. So if you're looking to play video games by the poolside, I recommend you pick one of these puppies up. MLG no skill. 360. I honestly don't know how to more effectively test out a router and network card than by playing some CSGO 50 meters away from my house, down by the community pool, with half a dozen concrete buildings between the router and the pool, and onlookers getting to see just how much of a noob I am at first person shooters, which frankly I am abysmal. But regardless, the RTAC88U and PCEAC88 certainly showed their worth to me in that extreme scenario and made sure that I could not blame my terrible gameplay on lag. Realistically though, the RTAC88U demonstrates what I would completely want in such a high price tag networking solution. Plug and play setup for immediate coverage all over my house and beyond, which it certainly did, as well as the power user options to have load balancing networks, a VPN setup, link aggregation, as well as a whole host of other advanced features. The PCE AC88 appears to be the perfect companion for the router with having the 4x4 Moomimo support that the router provides, as well as the antenna base that can be easily mounted to practically any metal surface with the magnets on the bottom, or by using the circle in the middle as I did to make sure that I could play my games down by the pool. And that's going to wrap it up for this overview on the wireless router and adapter that ASUS South Africa sent over for me to check out. I am curious to know though, what are your Wi-Fi dreams and aspirations? What would you do if you got your hands on the RT-AC88U and PCE-AC88, as much of a mouthful as that is, what would you do with those? Or alternatively, let me know where's the strangest place you've ever gamed on your desktop. I'm sure you guys have plenty of stories that top my CSGO down by the pool scenario. I'm looking forward to interacting with you guys down below. I try to respond to as many comments as you guys leave. You can like this video if you found it helpful or enjoyable at all. Feel free to dislike it if you thought it stunk, but I also would appreciate a comment as well to let me know how it can improve if you would be so kind. Subscribe if you're new around here and you want to stay up to date on all of my tech-related content. Be sure to enjoy your technology, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.